Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 165 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Keep holding the button until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can pair this watch with, an, with the iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can uh, set up the watch without uh, pairing it with a phone. So first I'm going to show you how to do it through the setup process. And I'm, then I'm going to show you how to do it uh, through the settings. Ok, so if your watch is brand new, you will see the uh, list of languages on the screen and you can scroll through it, find the language you would like to use on your watch, tap on it to select it and then you will see the message asking you if you want to pair your watch with a phone. We want to do that, so let's tap on the check mark to confirm and the wa watch will enter the pairing mode. Now we need to download and install the Garmin uh, Connect application on the iPhone, so make sure, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled, once you do, Open the App Store, in the App Store tap on the search icon, tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. Ok, you should see this application on the list, Garmin Connect. Tap on the uh, app to se select it, then tap on the Get button to download and install the application. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the Open button. Uh, to open it. Once you see the pop-up on the screen uh, about the Bluetooth permission, tap on OK to uh, allow it and then you will see the login page. Basically we need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account you can tap on create account button right here and make a new one. I already have one so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, uh, tap on next. Here we need to enter the email and password, so give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and we can tap on next. Once you see the pop-ups about the uh, permissions, you can allow them or deny them. This is for the notifications. So if you want to see notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see the uh, basically that the app detected your watch. Tap on connected. Tap on pair. Tap on allow. Here tap on next. Right here you can set up a sleep schedule, basically the time you go to bed and the time to when you wake up. And this is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep, so your notifications will be muted when you're sleeping. And you can edit it by tapping on edit button. I'm just gonna tap on next. Here we can allow the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see and um, manage the events on your watch. Uh, on calendar events of course, so if you want to allow the calendar access, tap on allow full calendar access, if you want to skip it, tap on skip. Next we have the not, uh, permission for the location, this is useful if you want to uh, see the weather, or rather uh, get the weather updates for the location, if you want to uh, track your routes on the activities like running, cycling and stuff like that, let's say you want to see the route on the map and stuff like that. So if you want to use the location, allow it. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Then tap next. And then tap on sync now. Hit tap on finish. You can go through the tutorial, I'm gonna skip it. Then tap on dismiss and the watch should appear right here at the top. And if you tap on more and Garmin devices, you will see that the watch is on the devices list. So. That's how you pair it through the uh, setup process. Now I'm gonna remove it from the iPhone and we're gonna pair it through the settings. So let's remove it. Okay. Go to settings, uh, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth. Find the Garmin device, remove it. And we can pair it now. So uh, you can go to your watch, open the menu on it. And once you open the menu, 
uh, by pressing and holding the up button, basically. Oh, my bad. Let's go back to the watch face, press and hold the up button to open the menu. Scroll through the menu and find the option called phone. And once you find the phone option selected, then scroll down, find the pair phone selected, and it will enter the pairing mode. Now you can open the app. Uh, and if you need to uh, log into it, then log in and the app will automatically start adding the device. But if you're logged in already, you can tap on more uh, Garmin devices, uh, tap on add device, and it will start looking for the nearby devices. It should detect your watch. You can tap on connect it and basically repeat the same steps as we did uh, before. So tap on pair, allow or deny the permissions. Next, set up the sp sleep schedule. Sync now, finish, and go through the tutorial or skip it. Not now. And as you can see, the watch is up here. And if you tap on menu and Garmin devices, it will be right here, which indicates that the devices are uh, paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.